Hello everybody, welcome to this video lesson. We are in Eng's double slit experiment. We want to know at a given point on the screen, am I going to get a bright spot or a dark spot? Even before that, how do we express that bright or dark spot in terms of a path difference? Is the point of this video lesson right now. So let us try drawing the diagram that we have. These are the two slits. S1 and S2 separated by a small distance D perpendicular to them at a distance capital D which is definitely much bigger than that of the small D there is a screen and we want to know at a particular point on P on the screen are we going to get a bright spot or a dark spot further the interference pattern waves has to reach that point P both from S1 as S2 as shown. It's very clear from the diagram that S2 P is definitely greater than that of S1 P. How much greater it is to find out from S1 I shall draw a perpendicular line. This is a perpendicular line. So if you say S1 P is nothing but equal to Q P. So the difference between them, which is also called as the path difference delta X between the two waves reaching the point P could be S2 P minus S1 P. If from the center of the two splits, angle with the base is theta, here also the angle will be theta. So this point is uh, say like O central right spot. Let me call OP where I am going to get some bright or dark spot on the screen is a value Y. Now we can say this is also a right angle triangle. There is two right angle triangles in the diagram. The right angle triangle S1 Q S2 this one S1 Q S2 if I write sin theta that is delta x by d from where we get delta x equal to d sin theta and in another right angle triangle p o o dash we can write tan theta that is opposite side y by adjacent side capital D. But as the angle theta is small, sin theta is pretty close to that of tan theta. So I can equate both of them. Y by capital D equal to delta x by small d. That implies Y on the screen where I am going to get a brighter dark spot is capital D by D of delta X. This is the relation between Y capital D small d and delta X. Basing on this relation further in the next video lesson, we are going to find out what's the condition for the Y dark and what's the condition for the Y bright. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.